because it's just trying to get a grip on its climate issues. Three GPT time, we're back. So in the last video, I took you through how to install uh, Llama 3 using Olama, one of my favorite uh, pieces of software for doing this. Uh, and what I didn't go into more detail around was the different variations on the Llama 3 model that are available. So I'm on the Olama website, olama.com. If I click on models and then I head over to Llama 3, there is 66 different variations of these models. So I did want to take a bit of time to go through them and then we're going to jump in and start to play with some of them. So first of all, Llama 3 comes in two varieties. It comes in an 8-bit, uh, sorry, eight, not 8-bit, 8 billion and a 70 billion um, parameter model. Um, my little MacBook Air with 24 gig of RAM probably won't be able to run the 70 billion model, but um, I'm definitely able to run the 8 billion, which is good. Uh, and again, if you run the latest, you're going to get 8 billion with the 4-bit quantization. Um, but if you have got the hardware for it, I would recommend experimenting and turning up that quantization to see if you can maybe get away with 6-bit. Um, we know that comes in 8 billion and 70 billion parameters, but it also comes in an instruct versus a text variation. And so instruct is fine tuned to be more and more around conversational um, versus the other one, which is not. Now, if I go back a step uh, and I scroll down, you'll see here there's a whole bunch of stuff um, and you'll see a whole bunch of new sort of letters you might not be familiar with. So you'll see things like K, KS, KM, KL. Luckily, there is a bit of a breakdown available on Hugging Face. Um, now, it talks about what each of these are. You've got your quant type, uh, then the file size, and then a description that goes with them. And I've had a bit of a look at this and I thought to myself, well, you know, I can go with the uh, quantization of eight extremely high quality generally not generally unneeded but max available quant um, and then I saw this one here which is a Q6 so six bit quantization um, you'll see things like K and KM KS uh, and KL so large small medium large um, it's all very new uh, there is a whole heap of literature on it um, and what it's all about I'm not an expert in large language models I come from a data science data analytics bit of data engineering background I like to know how the clock works, but I'm not looking to build the clock. So I just, I like to understand it. I think it's important we all do, but um, going back to this, looking at it and what somebody else has done the hard work for me, I think, I think I'm going to go with for my experimenting in this video and to share with you um, how Llama 3 performs, I'm probably going to go with quantization six um, underscore K, which is yeah very high quality, near perfect, 6.59 gigabytes. So why don't we go ahead and get hold of that one. So to do that, I'm gonna to get to my tags. I'm in Olama, I'm in Llama 3. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna go find the 8-bit, which is, where are we, 8-bit, I want the instruct, I want the Q6, and I want the K, which is that one, 8-bit, sorry, 8 billion instruct Q6 K, 6.6 .6 gigabytes. Let's go for it now. If you're new to this, that is confusing, right? There's 66 different things to choose from, um, but, Here's the thing, we're all fairly new to this. Um, there's only a handful of full people in the world prior to a couple of years ago that was doing this sort of stuff. Like compared to, it's completely mainstream now. Everyone, Everyone's a prompt engineer, everyone's an expert in large language models. So don't feel bad, you don't, you know, don't feel put out that you're not quite sure what some of these terms mean. Some of them are really, really fresh, new sort of terms that are being created purely for this task. So where are we? We got eight billion parameters. It's an instruct fine tuned model with six bit quantization underscore K, that's the one we want. So to install that, first of all, make sure you've downloaded and installed Olama, which is available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And then I'm gonna go ahead and copy this one here. And then I'm gonna head over to my terminal. I'm on my Mac, I have Olama running, uh, which also means it's got a small server running so I can interact with it uh, through its API, which is really cool. But to get this one up and running, I'm gonna paste that in there. So Olama run, Llama 3, and then the particular you know, tag or version I'm running is the 8 billion instruct <laughs> six bit quantization underscore K. I'm gonna hit enter on that. That's gonna take a little while to download. I am on Starlink, but here in Australia, internet isn't fantastic. So what I might do is I might pause the video here, come back thanks to the magic of uh, video editing, and then we're gonna start using um, this model. Okay, fantastic. The model has been installed. Now I've got a llama. Uh, here, so I just need to run Olama run and the exact uh, model along with the tag, hit enter on that, and that's gonna boot up the uh, 8 billion instruct Q6K model. 
Here we go, and we're in. So why don't we give this a little test, and I'm gonna show you how we can interact with uh, Olama, with the model uh, via sort of the API, the web API. Uh, we'll do that using their example of curl. We've installed the 8 billion parameter one. Let's give it a test. Um, let's ask it some very basic questions about the world, and let's see how we go. Uh, what planet are we on? Okay, let's have a look at that. We're currently living on the third planet from the star at the center of our solar system, Earth. Okay, great. Tell me a joke about Earth. Okay, let's see how it goes. Why did Earth go to therapy? Because it was feeling a little cracked under all that pressure. Okay, not bad. Um, <laughs> can you be funnier? Okay. Okay, why did the Earth go to therapy? Because it had a lot of issues. And also because it's just having a bit of an atmosphere crisis. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Nope. <laughs> Does it apologize? Oh, it's going to keep trying. Okay, let me think. Why did Earth go to therapy? It's really stuck on that one, isn't it? Because it was feeling a little unstable and also because it's just trying to get a grip on its climate issues. And okay, that's enough. You can just type bye and the whole thing goes away. Wow. Um, there is already some blog posts out there that Lama 3 is not less censored than Llama 2, but maybe more willing to share information, which is which is really interesting. It'll be, it'll be an interesting future in how you know, Meta and, and other organizations keep continue to build their policies um, around these models. So let's just jump back in and uh, why don't we ask some maths questions? Because we all know large language models aren't great at maths. So why don't we do 201 minus 200? And 201 minus 200 is in the 199. Okay, are you sure? <laughs> Mistake. 201 minus 1 is 200. Okay, <laughs> so still wrong. Uh, 201 minus 200. Hey, got to write the third time. How strange. Why don't we ask it again? I got to write this time. Great. <laughs> Did you know you got it wrong the other times? Um. How interesting. I'm a large language model. I don't have personal experiences or memories like humans do. Um, okay, cool. Uh, awesome. So what we're going to do now is we are going to interact with this because we are using Olama. So we're going to do forward slash buy and we're going to clear our screen. And if we head over to the Olama website, they've actually got some examples of how to interact with this via uh, curl. Um, so if I scroll down, because I'm on Mac, I've got curl installed, it means I can copy that, hit the run button. And what this is going to do is this is actually going to directly interact with the little API, the little web endpoint that's running there through the API slash generate um, sort of URL. Um, and in there, we're going to specify the model. Now, the model we actually want to specify isn't just Llama 3. Uh, we actually want to go ahead with our um, particular one um, and so to do that what we will have to do is we'll have to go back and grab our tag okay did I lose it oh, there it is perfect okay 8 billion that one perfect all right so we'll paste that in and we'll hit enter on that and error oh I forgot the colon that's okay uh, if you're new to the channel I get a lot of errors but that's okay so we'll do that one there hit enter on that and what you see here is it is streaming in each uh, of the, I think it's every word. Let's have a quick look. So yes, we get each, uh, no, do we get words or do we get tokens? I think we might be getting tokens. Um, and each time it gives us this sort of payload, this JSON payload, which tells us which model is running, when uh, this response was created, and then the response itself. Um, you'll see things like backslash n, that's just you know, sort of line breaks. Um, yeah, this is because <laughs> the smaller, and you'll see here this other um, one here, done, that'll say true or false. If I keep scrolling down, eventually that will say done is equal to true, which is that one there. It also includes a whole bunch of other useful information, which you may find valuable for testing. And that's how we interact with the model via the Olama sort of CLI, command line interface, um, and how we could potentially do it through curl. Now, 
I've got a couple more videos in mind. One is how do we interact with the model via Python just using the requests library. So instead of curl in the terminal, um, and that's a really easy and quick way to get started with interacting with the model um, and bringing in data from external sources, whether it be flat files like CSVs or Excel files, databases, maybe putting them into pandas and then getting Llama 3, um, this particular version, to do some automated data cleaning. You can ask questions of the data. You can you know, obviously summarize data, do a whole heap of cool data automations using a large language model that's fully self-contained and local to your machine. Um, and then I want to do some videos around Langchain, which is everybody's you know, favorite large language model um, Python toolkit you know, package. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, if this video or the upcoming video sound interesting to you, please, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button. Um, if there's any questions you have, drop a comment. I try to get back to as many as possible. Uh, thanks for spending some time with me as we installed this particular version of uh, Llama 3. I hope it was useful uh, and I'll catch you in the next one.